Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm here today to share with you a part two of the Nordstrom anniversary sale that I went to. The first one that I uploaded was during the early access. Um, it is still during the early access, but by now all of the tiers have been able to shop. And by the time this video goes live, the public can also shop the sale. So. If you've not been here before, welcome. My name is Emily and I love handbags. I also love fashion, travel, luxury. So if you like any or all of those things, consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell so that you'll be notified of my future videos, which may include a handbag unboxing. So we'll see how that goes. I wanted to share with you that by the time this video goes live, everyone can shop the anniversary sale. And so everything that I have mentioned in my previous videos about the sale price, you can take advantage of it if you choose to. The anniversary sale, I'll put up the dates here, but it is everything is on sale until the end of the sale time and then things go back to full price. So if you are thinking about it, if there are two sizes, I would definitely recommend getting both sizes because Nordstrom has a good return policy that you can always return the one that doesn't fit. But if you buy it outside the window or if you try to buy it when it's sold out, uh, you cannot. So. I will link everything I mentioned here. I will also link the two videos I've already done um, on the anniversary sale below. Uh, it, the links are very helpful, I found, because often when an item goes out of stock, it does come back in stock later, but you cannot really search for it. So by using the link, you can get to the page, even if it's sold out, so that you just have it ready um, on your like laptop or something. So besides the things I've already shared last time, I have a few more items I picked up at the store today. I actually went in to pick up items that I had purchased online to pick up in stores, but they were not ready the first day that I was able to shop. Uh, now, um, today is actually the weekend, I was able to go in and pick up things. So I wanted to share with you and also give you a few pointers um, if you have not done this before or if you just wanted to, to see how I do it, I don't know. I would love to hear if you picked up anything. I know some of you are very excited and have picked up things like my very beloved Longchamp Le Pliage, um bag, which is right here. This one's currently available this year in a black and in like a silver pearl white color, very beautiful options. Can't go wrong with those classics. And it's just a really good buy. Um, I will link this one below for sure. I know um, one of the colors has sold out, but then came back in stock recently. So just keep an eye out. They'll keep popping in and out. And sometimes even if they're sold out online, you can generally get them at the store as well. Uh, I've seen that before where it's sold out completely. I go into my store and they have one. So um, definitely just yeah, keep an eye out. Before I show you the items I picked up, I wanna show you some eye candy. I am using this bag today. This is my, um, I guess this is one of the newer items that I got. So I unboxed this uh, a few videos ago. This is my Louis Vuitton Rose Devant. I got it during the uh, special events in New York. And yeah, it's just beautiful. Um, it's this like petrol pink. You can kind of see like prints when you look at it in the color and it's got a sheen, but yeah, it's like a rainbow sheen, which is why it's called petrol because it looks like an oil slick. But I love the design of this top handle, cross body and oh my gosh, like it's just beautiful inside as well. And it is very unique because it's silver hardware. Uh, Louis Vuitton usually does more gold hardware. So I thought I'd share this with you. I took this out shopping today. Um, very hands-free, easy to, to wear. Um, I also wore, um, I guess you'll see it in the cutaways, but I have this like simple you know, v-neck top. This is from Brandy Melville, 100% cotton, super breathable. I also have this really cute skirt. I don't think you can see it, but it is from Aritzia. It was on sale maybe like a few, oh, I don't even know, maybe a month ago now, but I love the skirt. So if any of you do not have it and you're petite like me, I'm five foot one inches, 155 centimeters, it fits perfectly. So uh, it does run a little bit small, so I would size up a little bit if you're kind of in between sizes, but love it. Got so many compliments today. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, I wanted to share with you what I picked up at the store today, whether it's to pick up from uh, a order pickup or just what I saw in stores. First thing I wanna mention is that the pillow, the Barefoot Dreams pillow that I showed in my previous video where there was a snag, I was so shocked because I it was an order pickup, so I didn't get to inspect. But when I got home, I saw this little snag string and I was like, oh no. Um, 
I, I quickly placed another one for pickup and I got it today, inspected it, uh, it came in this bag, but inspected it and it looked fine. So I, I think it's I think it's like a, a fluke. It's a one time issue because these are so durable. I don't know what happened to that one, but this is the one that I got a matching, uh, the matching pillow and blanket set. Oh, they have so many different colors of this one. So squishy and soft. And if you own any Barefoot Dreams, items like it's cardigan, robes, sleepwear, loungewear, you'll know that. Even after washing and drying them, they're soft. Like they, I've had ones for over years, like two, three years now, and they're still soft. So yeah, oh, so good. I would highly recommend this one as well as the blanket that is in the sale. They have a lot of different patterns as well, not just this checkered one, um, but they also have, you know, like, I, I don't know actually, I'll pop some up here, some floral prints and, and such, but they are a very good bang for your buck. They last many, many years. I don't think I've met anyone who doesn't love snuggling up against one of these barefoot dream pillows or blankets. So it's also a really great gift. Not part of the anniversary sale, but I saw this at the store today. If you guys grew up with Sanrio characters, you'll know who this is. This is my Melody. I just loved this hat. I just, I grabbed it. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd share it with you. Uh, there's a little mesh thing for like comfort against this, but yeah, super cute. Um, it was also sunny, so I'm glad that I found this one. It was the last one, so if you guys have seen it, um, Nordstrom does some Sanrio character 50th anniversary thing um, this year, so keep an eye out if you don't know about it, but yeah, um, I love this line, so I, I, I kind of went a little crazy and just picked it up, but Besides that, in this bag, I also picked up this piece. This was not something that I remember seeing online, but when I was at the store, I saw it on the hanger and I was like, I kind of like that. It is, again, an All Saints um, sweater. I picked up an All Saints uh, dress sweater set, which I'll show you in just a second, but um, I thought this one was really cute. So this one is uh, merino wool. It is uh, $132.99 during the sale, and it is in this very beautiful, rich, like um, brown auburn almost, uh, and it has a cowl neck. It drapes really nicely and it's a slightly cropped and but it is so beautiful I wore it with what I'm wearing today I just popped it over um, with the skirt and it does look really good and I think if I had it with jeans it would also look great it is on the thinner side uh, but nonetheless it's not itchy and I think it'll keep pretty warm as well um, and I think you know if you want it, it for just like a very casual um, sweater but without looking very bulky. This is a really good way to go. Merino wool is very thin, but it does keep you warm um, and it's fairly breathable as well. So it doesn't look like much um, when I'm holding it like this. So I'll try to insert a photo of me wearing it uh, so you can kind of see what it looks like. So I, I do recommend this one for um, purchase. I think it is a good buy and it is uh, hand washable. So you don't have to dry clean, uh, which is always a plus that I don't need to take it to dry cleaners. All right, the thing that I mentioned uh, last time is from the All Saints um, brand is this. This is the two piece set. So it has this, um, beautiful skirt and it has a, a black sweater uh, but this is this is a very thin sweater as well it's cropped and it's a bolt boat neck now why I wanted to bring this up was because this uh, I saw this one today and it was in a smaller size so this one is a size small which at first I thought it was too gonna be too big for me but when I tried it on at the store a few days ago it actually fit me quite well so I'll pop a picture here. You haven't seen this on me in the other video, but today I tried on the extra small, so one size down, and it also fits. I'll pop that picture up here too. So I do wanna point out that if you're in between sizes or if you're like, oh, they ran out of a small or they ran out of an extra small, I for sure could, could have fit either one. I don't know how that's possible. I guess like maybe the extra small was maybe slightly more snug in the waist. I'm not sure. Um, from what I could remember, they felt pretty much the same. Even the length felt the same um, because it has an adjustable uh, cami strap. So I, that's another thing I really love. So it's adjustable. So I don't know, like, um, Maybe I am in between sizes in this case, so it was a lot easier to just be able to fit either, but just wanted to let you know, if you do find your size sold out for this set, um, you could probably go for either or. And this one retails for $244.99. Um, I just love that it's a two piece so that you could wear it, you know, 
without the long sleeve, but you could also wear it with a long sleeve and it'll look beautiful. And you can also wear this top separately with jeans, with another skirt. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's very good. I think it's very good bang for your buck. One of the other items I mentioned in my last video, but I didn't pick up because it wasn't the right size, is this Thread and Supply, um, like, shacket. It is very thin. It's got some fleecy bits. I also love the little, like, elbow pads here. Um, it has pockets on the side and it's just a very easy throw on. I could see this being like my go-to for traveling, like on the plane. It's, it's, it's great. Um, I do also love the little pockets here. And so it, I was able to get an extra small ordered in and it does still look a little oversized, but way less than the small. So I would definitely recommend sizing down, if anything, uh, compared to your normal size. Unfortunately, the smallest size that comes in this um, style is an extra small. So uh, I would have gone to extra, extra small, but they didn't have it. Anyway, I think it would be fine. I, I like an oversized, like cozy throw over. So that works. But just so you know, um, it's already oversized. Sometimes things say they're oversized and they're not, but this one's definitely one of those. Another piece I talked about last time that you might have seen me try on is this one. This is by the brand Thread and Supply. Again, um, I tried on both this blue color, which looks gray to me, or the more brown color um, in stores and I tried on a small. This one's an extra small which is what I ordered and um, you can kind of see it like this. I actually may prefer it a smidge more in the small than the extra small. I know I ultimately like picked this one up because I ordered it to pick up in store but when I put it on and compared it to the small, the photos that I wore in the small, I actually think I like the small a little better, although this one would work. So I do recommend if you're in between sizes, the larger one is probably the better one. But otherwise, if you don't mind a little cropped, um, this one works quite well. I just find that uh, the extra small size is a little bit more cropped, which is fine, except that it looks way more puffy. Um, so you know, if it shortens this way, it looks wider this way. So I'm debating if I want to go back for the small size, but yeah, I'll think about it a little bit more. This one retails for $29.99 in the sale. So it's a great piece. I love it. It has little pockets right here and I love the hood. So fuzzy, so cozy. And um, yeah, you can wear it with t-shirts, long sleeves, just something to like throw over to keep you a little bit warmer if you're in between seasons. The last clothing item that I want to talk about is here. This one, unfortunately, I think is sold out. Everything that I've mentioned here is currently still in stock. Uh, this is the only one that I don't think is. Although, like I said before, if you click on the link, you might be able to still find it randomly pop back up. So this one is by the brand Lodge Lagence. I think that's how you say it, but it is a beautiful blazer. Um, it's kind of got this like technical fabric. So it's like a knit blazer. So it feels more of a cardigan like, but it's very structured. Um, it's stretchy and has these massive shoulder pads to make it look very like businessy, you know, like boss lady type of thing. The back is very simple. It's not too tailored. They have these little pockets up in the front with one button. Um, so I think it fits me quite well. I think it's true to size. I read that some of the reviews say that they, they run small. For me, they actually look fine. They feel fine. Um, so I don't know. Uh, I would recommend take your true size. Um, but this one, like I said, is currently sold out. But if you can find it, I would highly recommend trying it on, especially if you um, are looking for a piece that could dress up your style for work or um, for an event, but without like feeling very stiff or constricted with the suit jacket. Um, this one is very, you know, forgiving and it does still look very structured, especially with the um, pads at your shoulder. So um, this one retails uh, for $285.99 in the sale, but it does go back up to $425. So yeah, um, if you are interested, this is a good time to get this piece because you do save quite a bit of money. All right, so that's all I picked up, but I do wanna point out that they do have beauty specials um, next week. So July 15th, they'll start having beauty specials. Besides the usual beauty uh, combos, pieces, deals during their anniversary sale. I think they'll also have uh, special gifts. Um, I personally got a little card that says like, I have $15 to spend on beauty next week. So if you got one of those, 
during the early access or in the mail, uh, definitely don't forget to use them. Um, yeah, there's some really cool beauty pieces. I already mentioned in my previous video that I got my like daily lotion that I use that with the SPF. I highly recommend an SPF because it'll protect your skin, but this one feels so light and airy, like I'm wearing right now, and it just feels so like natural, doesn't feel like sunscreen, but it will protect my skin throughout the day. And that one's um, on, on that one's in the anniversary sale, like a dual pack. It's, so, it's, it's a really good price. I also got some lash serums that um, to help me like condition and grow out my lashes a little bit. But there are also a lot of really nice pieces um, from, you know, Jo Malone that I like. Uh, you know, there's perfume, but there's also like body washes. Um, Dior has some really cute little bag things, bag sets that beauty pieces, but you also get the denim bag, which looks super cute for, you know, your toiletries. Um, there's also a lot of hair care stuff. So there's, um, some from Dyson, there's some from Dry Bar, um, just a lot of beauty tools that you can uh, use at your home so you don't have to like go out and get a blow dry. Uh, there's one that I was kind of interested in, I don't know if I would you know, splurge on or not, but it is the Dry Bar um, rollers. So I don't know if any of you have it, but it's like this thing where you heat up the rollers and then you kind of put it in your hair and you clip it and it's supposed to give you like waves. Um, I don't know, it, ideally, you know, it would be nice to have it at home, but like how often will I get time to do that? I don't I don't know. So yeah, uh, those are just things that um, I am thinking about. So if you are interested in any of those, I'll also list that below. If you have any beauty items that you would like to recommend to us here, uh, leave it in the comments below as well. I still have not gotten my beauty shipment in. I, my essay in New York uh, is shipping some pieces that I ordered for me, but it'll be a while. So I will likely do a reels when that comes in. I don't know, maybe I'll do a video here if it, it's really good, because I know he threw a lot of goodies in there. So I'm excited to see that. If it's really good, I might put, put it on a YouTube video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to hear if you picked up anything. I do have some reviews and some unboxings coming up, so definitely hit the subscribe button, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.